Hey y'all, Grandma, one of the subs and wrenches here at this channel sent me this story and she knows that I've been through domestic violence and I've shared my testimony uh, in my videos. And when I was watching this, it, ma it made me remember a time where I was on the floor and I was being choked and I was fighting with everything in me to, to get free. And he just kept squeezing tighter and tighter and tighter to the point where I couldn't fight anymore. I couldn't breathe. I was just like, my eyes were wide open like silver dollars looking into the eyes of the person that was killing me. And I don't know why he let go. Maybe he realized that it, I was leaving this world, but he did. And I gasped for air. And it makes me think of times where I was beaten so bad that I couldn't move any muscles, anything on my body. Everything hurt from head to toe. And I had a a busted tooth in my in ended up having to have oral surgery because he had broke my bone in my upper my front tooth my upper and if you're out there and you're experiencing domestic violence don't stay I stayed too long Luckily, I got out when my kids were very tiny, but I mean, three and two and pregnant with my third. But there's a very good chance that I could have died. Many times I thought I was on the verge of dying. And I don't want that to be you. If you're in that situation, call this hotline, please. It's not worth it. It's not love. Sorry doesn't fix anything, and the scars linger a long, long time, years. And some things you never forget and you never get over. I'm going to play this news clip that Grandma shared with me, and uh, I hope this helps someone. Gonzalez says she was stabbed just 37 times to her face, head, and arms. She survived, and now she's using her second chance to help other women who are afraid to leave. It's a miracle. Melanie Gonzalez is alive. I'm you win. On May 9th, Gonzalez was stabbed with a kitchen knife 37 times. Deputies say the father of her three kids admitted to the abuse. When the knife broke, Gonzalez says her abuser began hitting her with a wooden club. Don't kill me. I just can tell him, don't kill me. The violence unfolding in front of Gonzalez's 10-year-old son, who ran to the neighbor's house to call 911, saving his mom's life. Because I'm alive was given a second chance to be here. She says she ignored red flags of her ex, Ivan Villasenor, who was living with her to raise their three young kids together. He was always nitpicking at me. He was very jealous. He was very overbearing. Villasenor is charged with attempted felony murder. Gonzalez's kids live with family. She's now empowering other women to stand up and leave. Don't be afraid to get up and go. Your life, your kids' lives, have to come first. You can't be a mom if you're dead. 